Hey everyone, welcome to BMB Turf, where I'm going to take you through an oil and an oil filter change on a T5 2.5 TDI uh, transporter or caravel. Uh, it's a little bit of a tricky job this one, but if you just chill out, get all your kit, take your time, we'll get through it, no drama. So in terms of kit you're going to need, um, the, there's about eight and a half litres of oil held in the vehicle itself. So I've gone on the pessimistic side, I've gone for a 10 litre uh, oil uh, drain tray. I've then got a magnetic tray, some uh, absorbent wipes or towels, I should say, uh, the new oil itself. And again, go for the stuff recommended by VW. And if you go on the forums and Google, you'll find the, the kit you need for that. Um, some silicon sealant, some black silicon sealant. That'll be for the uh, sump plug, which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, you're going to need a small screwdriver. That's just going to help. Um, sort of pick some of the uh, clips off that we're going to go through. We also need a larger one as well to get the clips off of the uh, the engine cover and so on, uh, the screws. And then you're going to need a 19 mil um, socket with wrench and a 10 mil one. We're also going to need a 36 mil uh, socket. This is going to be for the oil filter housing. Um, and I'm going to show you, you're going to need to create a bit of a, and a contraption to actually get to the uh, oil filter housing itself so I might use either one of these but both in 36 mil uh, the new oil filter itself with gasket make sure that comes supplied uh, a new oil um, sump uh, plug okay with washer again it's best to change these out every time you change the filter change the sump plug as well so you get that nice seal a funnel um, some gloves a torque wrench and then over here I've got my various bits and pieces if you're interested this is from Halfords this is part of the socket kit uh, from Halfords um, but you're going to have to make a contraption that will reach um, down into uh, the oil filter uh, housing itself so it is a bit of a pain but I'll show you what I come up with in a bit so first stage you want to run the engine for about 20 to 30 seconds this is going to warm the oil up get it a bit thinner so it'll drain a bit more freely so I'm just going to set that up now so having run the engine for about uh, 20 to 30 seconds, next thing you want to do is pop some cardboard uh, underneath the sump itself, get your oil drain pan, pop it underneath, and now you're going to undo the sump plug itself uh, using your 19 millimeter socket. Nearly there. I reckon that's about and doable now. So it's going to spurt out. Again, you don't want to run the engine too long because you don't want hot oil coming out. So just take precautions, take it nice and steady. And then if you end up dropping the sump plug in there, that's fine. You can just pick it out and wash it off. Again, we're not going to be using this one again. Um, but, you know, if I need it as a backup at any point, then I've got it as a spare. So this will take a little while uh, to completely drain. Um, but you can see it's free flowing into there again just make sure you've got enough capacity in your drain pan or container whatever you're using because the last thing you want is this stuff overflowing all over your driveway again the cardboard's there but that's as a, as a backup um, but you don't want to be draining oil onto your driveway because it's a nightmare to clean up okay so all the oil is now drained out um, it, I left it for about 45 minutes and then I've come back to it. it's just a tiny little drip every so often so I've just put the um, uh, absorbent towel just underneath and just to catch those last couple of drops I've then put um, the uh, black sealant around uh, the near side of the sump plug um, as you look at it and then I'm just gonna screw this in now until it's hand tight and then what I'm gonna do is torque it to 330 Newton meters as recommended uh, in the Haynes manual. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so with the um, drained oil uh, disposed of uh, in accordance with your local regulations here, uh, where I live in Wiltshire in the UK, um, we can pop it in an old container and just take it to the local um, uh, recycling uh, uh, place basically and drop it off there. The next thing you'll need to do is take off the engine cover. This is where your large um, flathead screwdriver will come in useful. So I have got my head torch on but I'm not sure you'll be able to see where the actual oil filter housing is. It is down right in the depths. I thread my hand down there. It's all the way down here. 
So in order to be able to access that to then remove it and replace the oil filter element itself, the first step is to remove the power steering uh, reservoir here. So this is where you're going to use your 10 mil socket just on this nut here. We'll unscrew that and then we're going to secure the power steering uh, reservoir over to one side. Okay, so I've just popped the power steering reservoir over to one side and now inside um, the engine bay itself, the last piece in the, uh, in the way of getting to the oil filter housing is this intercooler uh, pipe here, the section of pipe here. So it's up to you. I'm gonna remove the circlip on this side so I can pull this section out and then move it to one side. Uh, some people that I've seen actually like to uh, detach it at the base as well, but that's quite fiddly uh, to get to. And then my concern is actually reassembling it. So I'm gonna give it a go um, like I did last time, basically. I was able to make do just with the intercooler pipe released at the top of the section and moved over to one side. So this is where your pick or your small flathead screwdriver will come in useful just to take this circlip off now. So with that uh, circlip removed, we can now remove or separate these two pieces of the intercooler pipe and we now might get our first glimpse of the oil filter housing itself okay right down here and this is where we need to get our 36 mil socket onto so this is where we now can design our contraption to uh, to get onto that um, uh, top of the oil filter housing itself and then be able to um, lefty loosey it out of place. Check out this mad contraption. Okay, so a bit of trial and error, and I've managed to um, basically get the 36 mil socket onto the housing, and I'm just gently unscrewing it now. Once I've got it out, I will then uh, show you this contraption that I've had to improvise. So this is what all the drama's been about, just getting this uh, oil filter housing cap off. Uh, there's the old oil filter, we can just uh, dispose of that in accordance with local regulations. And then this is the contraption that I had to use to be able to get uh, down into the engine bay far enough um, and basically fit the 36 mil socket on. Now, what I found, um, so I've got a, a half inch drive here, like piece, and I've gone straight from the socket into the elbow joint. Now the reason I've done that is because the, just to make things even easier, uh, the oil filter housing itself sits on an angle, so you can't go directly down onto it. You have to come in at an angle. So I put this elbow joint on. That again goes into uh, a extension bar, which then I put into a reducer down to a 3 8 extension bar another extension bar and onto a 3 8 uh, ratchet wrench. Now, if I had the money and the tools, I wouldn't recommend it, uh, doing it this way. I've had to just make do. The problem is, you know, you're putting quite a lot of force through uh, these smaller components into larger ones at the oil cap end. So it's not ideal, but it's worked in this instance. So the next thing I've done is just cleaned up the oil cap itself just by again a bit of absorbent towel and you can see here you might not be able to make it out but in this top recess here that's where the oil gasket ring has been sat so now you can use a pick or a small screwdriver just to prise that old uh, gasket ring off. So the next thing to do is to get some of your uh, new oil and just gently pop a really light coating of oil all around the new uh, gasket ring itself and then you're going to pop it back onto the oil filter cap okay so it might it'll be a quite a snug fit so just take it steady and try not to damage the gasket as you pop it on so the other top tip is just to make sure you don't roll the gasket on itself okay you want to feed it on um, just nice and gently so you're preventing it rolling so it then isn't twisted in place but it should be a nice snug fit once it's in you can then get your new oil filter and pop that into the cap and then before I pop this and screw this back in to the uh, oil filter housing I'm going to clean out the oil filter housing just taking care not to get any paper or any debris into the oil filter housing itself. Okay so I put the oil filter uh, with the cap back in the housing uh, you just have to take a bit of care do that by hand so you make sure you're not sort of cross threading um, at all as you're putting the cap back into the the housing itself 
um, and it only needs to go to 25 uh, newton meters in terms of torque setting, which again equates to hand tight essentially. So you don't need to over tighten uh, oil filters. Naturally, through the vacuum that's created, they will make sure they sit nice and snug. So just do it hand tight, don't over tighten, otherwise it makes a complete nightmare to take it off next time you come to do your uh, oil change. Uh, so next thing I'm gonna do, take the oil filler cap off, pop the funnel in, and now we're gonna go for eight and a half liters. You wanna pause at about the halfway point uh, through filling, just to make sure, give um, chance for the oil uh, to sink right the way down into the sump, and then I can check to see if there's any leaks um, in the oil sump itself. Cool, so once it's filled, eight and a half liters of oil, then you put the intercooler pipes back together, the circlip on, the power steering reservoir back in place. Just again, check for any leaks before you start the engine and then you're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to help other beaters out there too. Take care then, thank you.